I was running the Greenpeace organization from 1986 to 1988 and uh, I wanted to uh, bring wildlife art into the merchandise list to uh, move beyond the sort of protest t-shirts and stickers. And I'd been very impressed, of course, with what Gary was doing as an artist and how he was evolving very quickly. I asked him to do a, a number of drawings which would be limited editions uh, for Greenpeace. I did four drawings for them, of which they used two for limited edition prints, they, they, which were the very first prints that I'd ever had published. Which were? Which were a green turtle and a narwhal. And they did incredibly well. The green turtle sold out al almost immediately and the narwhal not far behind it. And was this on their suggestion or did you choose the subject matter? They, they asked me to, to do those subjects and I did a few little sketches of each one so they could choose which one they wanted to use. Um, but it worked really well and I, I then, I think I did it for four years after that with Greenpeace and each time they were becoming more and more popular. I think the one I did in 1989 of a Bengal tigress and cub mm -hmm. sold out again really quickly but it was doubly oversubscribed. And when I look back at that time I think that um, the emergence of, of Gary's art uh, in the Greenpeace catalogue reflected another bigger change that was going on with Greenpeace that a really a sort of maturing and a sophistication of its uh, campaign strategies, moving just from protest to an organization that could really put forward credible solutions to the environmental problems. And I always think Gary is being a really important part of that. There is something that goes straight to some very deep part in your soul, straight from his pictures. There's, there's a part of Gary in every single picture, his love and his gentleness. Gary must have some sort of magical relationship with the subject matter, because here, this has so captured a baby at the breast of the mother. It happens to be an elephant, but I mean, that baby, its little look of bliss and its sort of little pursed up lips and however sort of big and mighty the elephant is, its breast is still really sort of soft. You can almost feel it. It's a velvety, soft little purse full of goodness. And I don't know, the, the baby's got the most divine little white eyelashes. Everything about it is just such attention to detail. And, and a friend of mine who draws just looks at it in complete amazement. And she said, you know, every square inch of that elephant's hide must have taken hours, the attention to detail. And I think that you can see through Gary's work his relationship with the subject matter and, and I don't think anybody else has that. I love seeing the animals um, so calm and, and you, know, you can see them in happy surroundings almost and he's really captured that. And I love it where it is now, you know, it's lovely to come up here, go up to bed and to see the animals. You know, I often look and see them and you know, they look as though they're actually looking at me as I walk past them and they look so calm and uh, they're just wonderful, wonderful drawings. We've got about six Gary Hodges pictures and my favourite is the polar bear one and although that's on the fireplace at the moment it's usually at the end of our bed and for me it's, I, I'm not that keen on really soppy soppy pictures but that one is just on the edge, it's not too soppy and it, but it has a cute sort of feel to it and it sits at the edge of, end of our bed and some mornings when I wake up and I just look at that picture and it's just so tranquil and so lovely that it makes me feel all relaxed so that definitely is my favourite, the polar bear.